For a former Camden schoolboy, it was a transformation of truly epic proportions. Urban clothes for Buddhist robes. London lad to Shaolin devotee. Matthew Ahmet's epiphany came aged just 11, watching the Shaolin martial arts show The Wheel of Life, an epiphany that took him from terraced home to ancient Chinese temple. It was one of those moments, you know, you have some people that say, you know, there's a moment in their life that kind of changed and, and that's when they changed the pathway and you know they made success and for me seeing the show although I was only 11 I believe that was my moment because that's what created the idea of the dream of going to the temple and obviously now it's reality so it's no longer a dream up in the sky it's not an image it's actually a day-to-day -day thing that I actually do with my life so that moment was was I suppose dream coming to reality. It was a huge journey both literally and spiritually Travelling to the Shaolin Temple in rural China, the birthplace of Kung Fu, to master the ancient martial art. An austere life of hardship, discipline and devotion that's gone on practically unchanged for more than 1,500 years. Coming from UK, I did have a big ego and I was very arrogant, you know, but going to the temple and then being put into a situation where, you know, there was no water, which meant no showers. We were waking up at 5 a.m. I didn't speak the language. There was no, you know, oh, I'm tired today, I'm not training. If you didn't train, they come and, you know, they're pulling you out of bed and it's like military. You're there or you're going to get some punishment. We had beds which were just planks of wood with our pillow and basically our blanket. And that's what we had in our room, you know. And there was no electric sockets. There was no water. We had a tap outside with cold water. You'd fill your bowl up and wash yourself. So meanwhile, I'm telling everyone, I'm training in the temple. They're thinking, wow, this must be spiritual. It must be pure, just like what they've seen on stage, but I was going through something else also, which now I bring back to UK. When I see Matthew in Shaolin Temple, it was a shock to me. A foreigner from the West dedicated entirely during the four years' time he stayed with us, and the level he reached, both in study of Chinese culture and Shaolin Kung Fu in Shaolin Wei, really impressed me. Matthew admits his own life, though, could have followed a very different path. As a teenager, he had friends with guns. He even used to carry a knife. But he's created for himself now a very different destiny. Now that Matthew and his extraordinary team are back in the capital, they're hoping to inspire school children with the Shaolin message. Absolutely amazing, breathtaking. It was just ridiculous. Made me want to sort of just listen. You know, it's an amazing experience just to see these people come from a different culture who are experiencing different hardships, much harder hardships than we're facing. The effect they've had on our, certainly our behavioural challenge, and even some of the more difficult students, has been absolutely fantastic. Um, people reported improvements in behaviour, and just, I mean, it's not just as a one-off thing, this is something that's actually carried on. We saw you talking to the, the school children today, you could have heard a, a pin drop. What, what do you hope that they've got out of your, your talk and your demonstration? Well, I hope, you know, they'll take the value of what I was talking about, which is happiness, because again, there's so much anger in the youth and I think that's the problem which is causing them to go towards knife crime, towards bad education, towards misbehaviour. You know, if they understand that a smile is also valuable, you know, and I think with smiles, peace can happen. To see these kids that the teachers say are unteachable, that the teachers have put in units because they misbehave or they fight the teachers, to have them kind of sitting, listening to me like this, you know, and, and every time I ask a question, you know, they're, they're interested. To have so much interest and respect from these kids that are unteachable, for me, is success beyond success. With the zen-like symmetry, Matthew is now a star in the same show that inspired him as a boy, performing alongside 25 fellow soldier fighters from the Shaolin Temple, a show that's played to more than 900,000 people worldwide. Wow. Matthew wow. Armet, wow. the London lad turned wow. martial arts wow. maestro, coming full circle and completing his own wheel of life.